Hey guys, Jacob Scott, Lorance Product Expert. And what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna walk you through how to download your HDS and Elite software updates using a Mac computer. All right, so here we are on the Lorance.com website. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to support and we're gonna click on the support tab. Now the software procedure that we're gonna do is gonna be the same for both the Elite and the HDS unit. So we're gonna go ahead and go down here and select the HDS Gen 3 software. Now we're on the software update page. We're going to scroll down to the bottom of the page to where the updates are. We come down here to the zip file. We're going to click on it and we're going to say download the linked file. So now it's going to pop over here. We can see the indicator down here in the corner where we're downloading that software. And as soon as this software is downloaded, I'll show you how to put it on your SD card so that you can put it on your units. Now that we have our software downloaded, we can see it's in a zip file. So what we want to do now is we want to open a spotlight search and we want to select archive utility. So if we hit A, that's going to come up. Now that we've uh, gone to the archive utility, we're going to click on it and select preferences. Now what we're doing here is by default, the archive utility shows us to keep expanding if possible. So anything that's zipped within this file, it's going to keep opening and keep opening and keep opening. Um, that's where we kind of run into the issues with the software on a Mac. So what we want to do is we want to uncheck keep expanding if possible. Now that we've done that we will close out of here and we will open our software. Now you can see we have the UPD file. You can see the file extension on the end is .upd. So now all we need to do is drag that down and put it on our SD card and we can update our units. So we'll go ahead and uh, grab a hold of this. We'll drag it to this folder. We'll let it go here. As you can see, it's copying the UPD file to our SD card. Now that we've got the UPD file copied to the SD card, we're ready to take that SD card to our display and update it. Now that we've downloaded the software to an SD card using a Mac computer, if you need help with your HDS unit, follow this link. And if you need help with an Elite unit, follow this link.